Hey, uh, welcome back. Um, this week we're doing some more stuff on the Phantom and um, I'm lucky enough to have some real good friends of mine here that are going to work with me on this car. We're, uh, we've spoken a little bit about what we're going to do on the back with the glass and things like that, but um, you know, we're going to step it up a notch now. So without further ado, I'm going to let my friends here introduce themselves and tell you about what they do. Yes. My name is Amy Klein and I'm a porcelain artist and a sculptor and um, looking forward to collaborating with uh, Sean on his car and um, all working together um, to make it work. Right. And I'm Tom Coleman. Um, I've been doing this uh, clay artist thing for about 54 years. My also, my second love is, is old cars because I grew up in that era where cars really meant something to me. They were actually art and pieces of sculpture. Mm -hmm. So it's going to give us a chance to uh, collaborate with Sean by actually doing some finishing on the car, some molding, yeah. and uh, experimenting with different kind of metals. Yeah. And, uh, work. Well, we're going to sculpt a form that wraps around Sean's car, and that we'll all work together on that to create a really nice flow to what Sean has done. Yeah, it should be very interesting. So, so it's really an interesting collaboration. You know, mm -hmm. people with clay, two, two forms of art, because Sean's a wonderful artist. People think when someone works on a car, they're always just a mechanic, but, mm -hmm. but he's an artist. And yeah. that's the people I look for. Right. You know, the, the new cars today are put together by these big companies. They pretty much all look the same. And uh, yeah. this is something that's going to be a sculpture, right. really. Right, and what brought us to cars is really that cars really are sculpture. And so as sculptors, we're looking forward to the opportunity to be able to combine our knowledges with Sean's and actually being able to bring our sculpture to the sculpture of cars. Pretty exciting. Which from what he yeah. started here really coincides with what we do. Yeah. I mean, I kept looking at this thing evolve, and I thought, man, could we really you know, work together? And then all of a sudden this idea came up, which was a blessing really right. for us. It's exciting. Right. Right, line and form coming together in yep. something that's larger and more f and also functional. It's exciting for us. Yeah. So, so what we're actually going to do with the car? Um, initially, I was going to do um, maybe like a stainless steel and then use the put the glass in the top. But now um, with these guys, what we're actually going to do is we're going to do it like a you know like a 1930s sort of vintage car or something like that where. It's not going to be flat. We're actually going to start forming, put clay down and start forming whatever shapes we want to run into there so we can get some more dimension in the car. And um, the, the process with that, Tom, you know, it's, it's fairly involved, if you can sort of explain it is. a little it's, bit It's about just that. like sculpting anything. We're going to put, well, an oil-based clay that's very soft and, and malleable uh, over whatever surface that, that we wind up, that Sean puts the skin over here. And then we'll just actually be able to mold that in any shape that we want. We can take it away, we can add to it. Clay. But you're actually going to see what the finished piece, with the exception of the colorant, is going to look like. Then we're going to take and make a mold. When this is still on the car, we're going to make a mold that we'll be able to do anything we want with. We can add actual metal to it. We're going to work with a porcelain resin metal. And that's sort of a new process that, that we've done a long time ago, but now they've improved it quite a bit. So um, that's what's exciting because Sean will actually be able to come in because he's such a, you know, he works with metal so beautifully, but this is something that would take him a long period of time to do without, uh, you know, without what we're doing right now. But he's going to be able to come in at the end of the day and go, well, hey, I can actually see this being a little different. We can change it just like that. Right. And, uh, the end is going to be, you know, uh, the three of us, but basically what Sean has started off with here is, is the idea. Yeah. And we're just helping. And, you know, it, it's all, also, um, you know, to, to work with something totally different too, rather than just do it out of steel or, or right. whatever, you know, it's another medium that we can use. And, you know, when we get the, the process, you know, as far as I know, nobody's done this process no, on a car before I don't think so. and uh, you know we'll, we'll probably bring it into some other sections of the car too that we want to want to bring um, you know everything together in the car um, once we get the interior started done we've talked we've already spoken about doing some stuff in there so yeah I'm real excited it's it's given Me us too. you know a whole whole different thing to do and that's what you know like building these cars that are, uh, 
you know, you learn something new every time you do something, whether it's a motorcycle, a car, and even you guys, I guess, with your art, you know, you're always, always finding a new way of doing something or a new idea, and, and you know, that's what makes it exciting to, to work on these things. What I like about what Sean does is he's, he's got it all up here. Basically, he does a few rudimentary drawings. I haven't seen a complete card. I don't card. do drawing, no. Well, do I mean, to, to lay out pieces. Maybe. Oh, yeah, but, measurements, yeah. But drawing of the whole car, you know, usually get some guy that's going to make a car, and it's a detailed drawing, and he has to follow that. But this right. thing develops as you go. Right. Yeah. I think right. you, you put in one piece, and I think, oh, man, right. that's going to do that. Yes, right. So yeah. it's not finished right. in your head. And, boy, when you get that finished, right. it's such amount of work that's all up here and you feel so proud if it works yeah. it's going to be a winner <laughs> yeah <laughs> well if it doesn't work we'll keep on working with exactly. it right the, the nice thing is, is that when you use the the, the oil clay and you yeah. start to sculpt right on top of the vehicle just like raw sculpting and, and working you can you know make the forms and then pull back and look at it and change the form again and it's so immediate and and it's it's wonderful because it it lends itself to that immediacy of design and working exactly right? yeah more than better than drawing drawing doesn't even come close well, yeah. to you know, being able to do a sculptural sketch that way being a clay artist there's a lot of failure i mean oh, there's a ton of failure that happens with everything without yeah. failure there's no success exactly right. i mean if right. you can't take failure in the in the art business right. boy right. you better run right. well the car then, business right. you better have a lot of money to pay someone else to do right. your ideas yeah, but that's yeah. how you learn and that's how you actually yep. evolve and and create something that no one else has done before i mean metal you took the risk metal fabrication mm -hmm. to me i've never i don't work well with metal but mm. that's such an art to me mm. yeah. metal People don't think they're artists, but I mean, I yeah. would call you an artist over but, anything. But, uh, and I, I guess though, so, like um, the thing with metal too, you, you are limited with what you can right. do. Whereas, yes. you know, like you can only work metal so much. Whereas like, you know, for me to try and make what we're talking about doing out of metal would take me months, basically. But you could do it. Right. I could do it, yeah, yeah, but it would take me months to do. And, and it's sort of, and, and it's probably not going to be the same. I like. I always like to use different substrates and different mm -hmm. textures and stuff like that. Whereas I think what we're going to do here is going to be something, you know, pretty well. I think wild. the fluidity of oh, yes. the metal would be a little different yeah. than yeah. blending that clay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, when, yeah. when you work on a potter's wheel, everything's moving in motion while yeah. we're working. And one of the things that we do in our work is that our work looks like it's still in motion. And that lends itself, I think, really well to a car on the aerodynamics of the car. Yeah, even the glasswork back there might be interesting to approach it a little differently. Yeah. You know, you could actually get the the limit. hot glass molded a little bit so it yeah. had a little slump. Shape yeah, slump it up. Too. Yeah. Yeah. You can do that yeah. in a kiln. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah you can. Yeah. I've done, uh, back home in Australia, um, my dad was sign writer and I, I did a lot of slump glass. We used to do a lot of slump glass panels and, and yes. do uh, neon lighting behind the slump glass and stuff like nice. that. And That's cool. I love that stuff, yeah. Uh, you can uh, color. really work yeah. with it and yeah, bring yeah. colors you and know, stuff in. You can get cull it, just like cull it colored glass, yeah, right? yeah. which is chunks of glass and just have a mold in a kiln and just put all that color in there and well, slump it. Well, knowing us, it might be beer Beaut bottles. <laughs> yeah, you can do that with Oh, I love those cobalt blue <laughs> ones. We'll, yeah, we'll give you as much recycled right. beer bottles as you yeah. want. The platinum. <laughs> we like the platinum. Yeah. That's, That's the way I made cobalt. money when I first started off. My, yep, my right. sister-in-law had a bar, yeah. and so my wife and I had melt down beer bottles for ashtrays. Oh, I got it. We didn't yeah. know anything about annealing glass, you know, so about right. as soon as they'd wash them, they'd crack and fall oh, out. No. So it was a, a constant income for us. Okay, well we'll keep you updated on what we're doing and if we don't succeed the first time, we'll keep working at it until we get it right. So uh, see you all again next week. Bye. Yay. Bye.